Hi all. Today we'll see about bulk API and how we can process bulk records using bulk API. So the first step is to, to get the access token. And here you can see the list of steps to get the access token using Salesforce CLI. But here I'm gonna use Postman tool to get the access token. And this is my access token which I generated. And the next step is to prepare the file which we want to upload. So I'm going to consider this file which will create seven account records. So this will create seven account records. And these are all the fields. So the, the file content type should be CSV. So we're going to upload a CSV file which we're going to load into the account, account object. So I'll just copy this file content and I'm going to paste it here. So I'm going to save this file in a CSV format. So I saved this file in CSV format and the next step is, so I'll go back to the documentation and the next step is to create a job. So here, this is the request body and this is the URL which we're gonna hit and it's a post method, it's, it's a post request and these are all the headers. So we have the sample curl also here and this is the response body which we're gonna hit, which we're gonna get and I'm gonna create this request in my postman so i'll go back to postman and then click on new so i'll save this as create job and i'll use this collection yeah so the first step is this is this is my request body if i go to body and i'll say raw and i'll change the type to json and you can see what object we are considering here so we are inserting account record so object name should be account and the content type is csv we're going to upload a csv file the content type should be csv and the operation we are trying to perform here is insert and the line ending so here uh, line ending as we are using windows operating system so we're going to replace the line ending with crlf so i'll just replace this and I'm going to change the method to post as this is a post request and this is the URL which we're going to hit it. Yeah, this is the URL. Let me copy the URL as well. And I'm going to append this URL with my domain URL. So let me get my domain URL. So this will be my domain URL. Let, let me try to add some headers also. If you see in the curl, we have two headers. One is content type and accept are the two headers. Let me add that. Okay. Now in the authorization tab, select the author authorization type uh, type as bearer token. And here I'm gonna give the access token which got generated here. So let me copy this token. and give it here in the token section and I'm going to hit the send. So now we got the job ID. This is my job ID. Using this job ID, we're going to upload the CSV file. As you can see here also, they given the sample example response body. We got the same sample response body, but this is our job ID. And now let's try to upload the CSV file. And for this, this is the URL and the request body will be in the binary format and let's create a new request in postman so i'll name it as upload data i'll copy this url first and this is my url And here in the place of job ID, I'm going to give the job ID which got generated here. Generated here. So here in the response body, we got the job ID, right? So just copy that and replace here. And if you see the curl, you can see this is a put method. So I'm going to change the method to put. And there are like uh, two headers. One is content type and accept. So let me add the headers also content type is text slash csv and other is accept json and in the authorization i'm going to select 
bearer token and here I'm gonna use the same access token which got generated which I'm using it for the create job I'm gonna use the same accept uh, access token here and in the body it should be in the binary so I'll just select binary here where I can select the file here so I'm gonna select the file which we created the CSV file which we created so I just selected the file which we created which has seven account records so i'm gonna hit the send send button now we got the status code as 201 and we don't have any response body here and you can also see no response body for this request so if i go to salesforce now and in the setup i'll search for bulk data load jobs and you can see this job got created with the status as open so it's still not yet processed and we gonna process this job using this request so we have to set the job state to upload complete so we're gonna use this url and let's try to build this in postman so i'm gonna create a new request so i'll name it as process data and let's click on save and I'll copy the save URL and here I'm gonna change the URL so this is the URL here I'm gonna change the job ID which got generated earlier so this is the job ID which got generated I'm going to change the job ID and if you see the curl this is a patch method so I'll just select it as patch and what are all the headers you can add it headers I'll add content type as application JSON and authorization i'll just select the bearer token and i'm going to use the same access token here and i'm going to click on send and one more thing we forgot is we have to send the body also so if you see this will be the body which we're going to pass state is upload complete and i'm going to hit on send now so now it will process it so here you can see if I go back to Salesforce again and if I refresh this page, now the status is in open. But if I do a refresh, you can see the status as job complete and it processed seven records. And if I go back to Salesforce org and if I do a refresh here, these are all the seven records which got created. Let me see if other fields are also getting populated. Yeah, these are all the seven records which got created from the CSV. And now in the bulk data load jobs, you can see the status as job complete. But I want to see the status of this job in my postman itself. Uh, we can also do that as well. Like for example, I submitted a job and what is the status of that? Is it job complete or is it any error? So we can get it in postman also. So for that also, there is one URL where we can hit it. So for that, this is one of the URL which we're gonna Hit it now. So I'm gonna go back to Postman. I'll create a new request. I'll name this as get status. And um, you I'll use this URL, which I'm gonna appending with my Salesforce domain. And in the place of job ID, we need to give the job ID, the old job ID which we got. So I'm going to use the same job ID and I think this will be the get request. So if I go to here, we have the authorization. And yeah, let's see. I will select the authorization as bearer token and I will I'll use the same access token and I'm going to hit the send button. Now you can see 
the status here, the state here, it's job complete. And it go, it process seven records. So there is one more, one more other also where, uh, like after a job is in the job complete or failure status, you can get the details about which records were successfully processed also. So for that, uh, we're gonna hit this request. So what I'm gonna do here is, uh, let me open Postman here. And I'm gonna create a new request. So I'll name this as get record status. Something like this. And I'll click on save. And this will be my URL. And I'm gonna append this with my Salesforce domain URL. So this is my Salesforce domain URL. And you can see in the curl, uh, we have the get method and the content type is application JSON accept is text CSV. So I'm going to go to the postman and the state, uh, the method is get, go to headers and I'll say content type is application JSON. and accept is test of csv And as it is a get method, we don't have any request body here. So let's hit the request. So before that, I'll just select the authorization also. I'll select the authorization as bearing token and I'm gonna use the same access token which were which we are using for the earlier request. So I'll just hit save send. And we got this error because we didn't provide the job ID here. So let me change the job ID also. So this is the job ID. And I'm gonna Hit send now yeah and now you can see these are all the seven records which got created and we got the account ID also here yeah thank you thanks for watching